Welcome back to the channel guys. This video is going to focus on the Brooks C17 saddle. Now we've done 878 miles on this since we swapped it from the standard Brompton saddle uh, over the past couple of months. So here's some of our top tips on saddles in general and also whether we'd buy this again. So we've been busy clock clocking up the miles over the past week for our charity bike ride and thanks to everyone who has sponsored us so far. So we're currently standing at 190 miles in the past five days so well on track for over 500 during this month and also £100 raised uh, for Diabetes UK which is absolutely brilliant. So getting back to the saddle, here is our experience of it so far. So it was relatively easy to fit and simple to take off the old saddle. Be aware though that you will probably have to swap the pen to clip over, which can be a bit of a pain if it falls apart. So you need to be really careful when taking it off the old saddle and putting it onto the new one. It's worth noting on a previous video that someone mentioned I'd put the pen to clip on upside down. Now most people do have the saddle on the high setting on the pentaclip but I don't need the extra height personally plus I also like the fact that the pentaclip is more hidden under the saddle as well. Now obviously once you put the saddle on it's really important to set it up properly so the majority of people will have the saddle level at zero degrees so spirit level is useful if you have one but if not most phones nowadays have actually got spirit levels as an app built into it. So just make sure the bike's on a level ground and check to see the angle it is on currently once you've fitted it. If it's not level, then all you need to do is loosen the pentaclip slightly and adjust the seat until it is level. Uh, then you just have to tighten it back up. Next is the saddle height. So after changing the saddle, it's surprising how much it can change the height you had before. The way to make sure you have the right height is to place your heel on the pedal at the lowest point. Your knee should be fully extended. When you move from your heel to place the ball of your foot on the pedal your knee will naturally have a slight bend in it when it's at the lowest point which is exactly what you want to help with making sure the seat post is the right height i always put a dot on the post with a permanent marker just so i'm sure that the post is the right position every time I, before i start off riding so what do we think of the seat and also would we buy it again it took a bit of getting used to it at the start for the first few rides uh, the seat themselves are similar in size but the Brooks saddle is a lot sleeker looking plus the surface is a lot is slightly rougher which helps to stop you from slipping around too much when you're riding although it's not padded like the standard seat it is surprisingly good at absorbing shocks and bumps along the road so based on the saddle being less slippery and absorbing more bumps i found that this is much more comfortable than the standard saddle and i think it looks better on the bike as well personally but before you go out and buy one, consider if it's worth the money based on your own circumstances. So I wanted a book saddle because I wanted to change the look of the Brompton and also make it, make it look a little bit sleeker. Uh, but the old saddle was fine and I never had any major issues with it. Plus one saddle works well for some, whereas it might be really uncomfortable for others. So if you can find somewhere such as a bike shop or a local bike shop to you that might let you try before you buy then that might be worth looking into as well. As always I hope you found this useful if you're considering buying a new saddle. Our next video is going to focus on our new helmet which we got a few weeks ago so we'll look forward to that in the next week. Um, guys thanks for watching as always and I will catch you in the next one.